Hallelujah, glory to God. You welcome to prophetic intercession with Amel. It's always an honor to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. If this is the first time you're seeing me, a special welcome to you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I pray that the Lord uses this channel to minister to you prophetically to tell you the mind of the lord and help you know him even better in the name of jesus and all our returning subscribers god bless you i am always um I'm delighted each time you send in words of encouragement and prayer and support thank you so much i always receive it with a heart of gladness hallelujah the lord laid this word in my heart and i couldn't wait to share this person has an evidence against you and they can't just wait to show it off. They can't just wait to make everyone see that you are a failure, that you are a liar, that you did something wrong. That is the work of the devil. The Bible calls him the accuser of the brethren. This is what the devil does. This is how he accuses. The devil accuses us to God tells God, look at what they have done. They have done this thing wrong. They have done that thing wrong. And the devil accuses God to us. The devil will come to you and tell you, look at you. God is not faithful. If he were to be faithful, why is this happening to you? The devil is going to accuse God to you. And the last thing the devil does is that the devil accuses us to us. The devil come, will come to you and tell you you are a failure. You cannot do anything with your life. This is all about you. The devil has the mandate of an accuser. The Bible calls him the accuser of the brethren. And so each time you do something and the devil has an evidence against you, he is running to God to give us an evidence against you. But thank God we have the Holy Spirit who is our advocate and Jesus who is our intercessor the Bible says that he is seated in heaven and he is making intercessions for us and even while on earth he gave us a snippet of his intercession and and how the Holy Spirit defends us before the Lord there is a story in the book of um, Matthew chapter 11 or is it Matthew chapter 12 that that God used it to to open my eyes about how he um, he intercedes for us and how he defends us. You know, Matthew chapter 12 from verse 1 says, At that particular time, okay, at that particular time, Jesus went through the green fields on the Sabbath, and his disciples were hungry and began to pick the heads of grain and eat them. But when the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, Look, your disciples are doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath. And he said to them, Have you not read in the scriptures what David did when he was hungry? He and those who accompanied him, how he went into the house of God and they ate this consecrated bread, which was not lawful for him to eat, nor for those with him, but for the priests only. This was Jesus giving justification for the disciples. Yes, what they did was wrong. It was wrong to have done that on a Sabbath. But Jesus did not argue that what they did wasn't wrong. But Jesus gave justifications for what they did. And that is what Jesus is still doing right now. Yes, you were caught in the very act. You were, you did something that was wrong. Everyone knows it. You know it. You're not denying it. And the devil wants to use it as an evidence against you. But Jesus, our high priest and our intercessor, is there making intercessions on our behalf. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a good God we have. Whenever the devil thinks he has won, whenever the devil thinks he has a case, God shows, us for, shows up for us in diverse ways. He comes in ways that the devil even did not see coming i like the way jesus ended the story he continued by saying that or have you not read in the law that on the sabbath the priest in the temple break break the sancti sanctify of the sabbath and yet are innocent but i tell you that something greater than the temple is here that is how jesus ends it in defense to his disciples he defended them against the Pharisees. May the Lord continually defend you when the accuser rises up against you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you. 
that listens to the sound of my voice. When the accuser rises up against you, I pray that God will defend you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.